Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming. I'll tell you, this is a very, very exciting day in Lion Nation for all of us, and, and you guys being here means a lot. Um, I'd like to take a minute to recognize a few people that came in that are here today, starting, of course, with our president, Dr. John Crane. Also, Mr. Gary Sandifer, former Alumni Association president. Larry Hemel, Alumni Athletic Coordinator. Ms. Kathy Pittman, Director of Alumni. Thank you for being here. Mr. Sam Damiano, Vice President for Administration and Finance. Ms. Wendy Lauderdale, Vice President for Advancement. Stephen Smith, our Budget, budget Director. Everybody's best friend right now. <laughs> Mr. Andrew Bishak, Senior Associate Athletic Director. Tim Baldwin, Assistant Athletic Director for Corporate Sales. And Cody Geiger, Assistant to Athletic Director for Athletic Development. But thank everybody for being here. This is obviously an exciting day, and I, I tell you, I really want to thank the search committee. Very thorough. You know, when, when you started going through this process, it was overwhelming the number of applicants that came after this job, and it's for great reason. You know, and we say this all the time. This is a special place, an unbelievably special place. And when you see the quality of people that start looking at this job and want this job and covet this job, you understand why and how special this place actually is. I also want to thank our girls, our basketball girls, um, for, for doing a great job of just sitting and meeting with all the uh, applicants and, and telling me some things. And I've enjoyed getting to meet them and watch them off the court as well. And girls, thank you all very much and for being here today as well. We really appreciate that. You know, like I said, we were overwhelmed looking at the quality of people that applied for this job. And thing we look at when you hire a coach, number one, we got to remember they deal with student athletes. They deal with young men and young women. And the first thing that you look for, I know the first thing I look for, is that person a great role model? If the answer is yes, then we can move on to the rest. If the answer is no, then we move on to the next candidate. With our candidate, I can say overwhelmingly, no question, yes, going to be an unbelievable role model for our ladies. And that's the most important thing. After that, we can move on to the next thing. To me, it's important that we excel in the classroom, in a community, and on the court. And identifying somebody that can do all three of those and be excellent in all three of them. It's hard to be great in one and not the other. And identifying somebody that could be great in all three, I think we've hit a home run in doing that with our new hire. I know y'all didn't come listen to me talk or listen to Kendall talk. Everybody wants to hear our, our new head women's coach. Pen and board approval, our new head women coach is Miss Yolanda Moore. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you um, to uh, the search committee and, for, and to uh, Jay, Mr. Ortiz, for selecting me. I know that this is a very important position uh, for so many reasons, not just for, um, you know, the position of coach, but what it means to have this position in terms of the responsibility that comes with it with regard to the student athletes. Um, I really want to thank the Pride Group. Uh, I've never seen anything like that, the support group for the women's basketball program. Just there, they have a vested interest in the lives of these young women. And um, walking into a situation like this, knowing that you have the support of a group that doesn't have to do what they do um, means everything. And, and lastly, um, I want to say thank you to the young ladies on the basketball team. I was very, very impressed. Um, I, I got to say, I think they set me up, though, um, because when they told me, you're going to go meet the girls, and they may have a couple of questions, I walk in, they got the seats all lined up, and my little hot seat sitting there, and they had like 20 questions. And so I, I was very proud to see that they have a vested interest you know, in this program and who they're going to be under with regard to leadership. And it showed me that they're not just talking about you know, what they want to do in terms of being successful and when they mean that. And so that's what that showed me. Um, so I appreciate them for that and I appreciate them for being here and I appreciate everybody for being here. Um, I won't get into the details of with regard to basketball X's and O's, but I do value this opportunity and I will say that um, on the court we're going to compete. We're going to be committed to competing. We're going to put a good product on the floor that fans are going to be happy to come out and watch. In the classroom, that's going to be our number one priority, making sure that the kids understand that that's why they're here, um, to get an education, to take advantage of this opportunity. Just because you're born with the gift to play a sport doesn't mean that you, know, you have the right to play it. It's a privilege. And this is a wonderful opportunity that's not afforded to so many who are actually capable and qualified to be in this position. So I want to make sure that they understand not 
not to take that lightly and to take advantage of all of the opportunities that this university has to offer. Um, with regard to the community, I can tell that it's a very close-knit community, that it's a great love for this university, and I want to, you know, get out and be a part of that as much as I possibly, I possibly can. Um, it's going to be fun uh, to come out and watch women's basketball, and that's what it should be. This experience should be a great uh, quality experience for all people involved, especially the student athletes. And, you know, that's what I want to make sure that they understand that this isn't about me. I've had my time. This is about them. And everything that I've learned over the years with playing in the WNBA and playing alongside some of the greatest women's basketball players in the world and being a coach and, and, and all of those things and being a mom, I'm going to give them the best that I have. And I'm going to make sure that we put the right staff in place that's going to embody all of the values that uh, the university has set forth. And we're able to carry out the vision that uh, Mr. Ortiz has for the women's basketball program and the athletic department. So I'm extremely um, humbled by this opportunity. I know that there were many, many qualified candidates, and I'm just very grateful and very blessed that they saw something in me um, and that they chose me for this uh, for this wonderful position and this wonderful opportunity that I don't take lightly. Um, we're going to work very, very hard. I told the girls this. I promise you, you're going to work harder than you probably ever worked in your life, but you're going to have so much fun doing it. And that's what this should be. Basketball is fun. This part, this time in their lives should be a fun experience for them. And so we're going to utilize every resource that's available to make sure that they have a quality uh, college experience. Thank you. Is this person going to be a great role model? With Yolanda, it's unquestionable, yes. I mean, she's going to be tremendous by girls. On the court, there's no question what she's going to do. You know, I, I wanted to identify somebody that I thought could be excellent in the classroom, in the community, and on the court. And I think we hit a home run with Yolanda in all three of those aspects. Her basketball experience speaks for itself. WNBA, two-time champion with the Houston, Rock, Houston Comets. When you saw that on her resume, was that one of the things that stood out? Well, it's impressive. You know, she has a lot of experiences and knows a lot of people. and, and, and seen a lot of different ways uh, the basketball game is taught, you know, and I think all those go into who she is today. All the experiences she's had as a player, as a coach, have led to what she's become now as one of the rising stars in college basketball. Well, first, I know that uh, she's coming in to make us better, and she really does care about us as a team. Um, I know that we will work hard, and it's up to us to, you know, be able to win and become come out with the winning program. Uh, it's interesting to see like a new leader uh, come in, but honestly, we're just ready to work, and we know that from her. And that was our first impression. I'm confident, very confident. Um, has a vision for this team, and um, like we're very excited about um, what's for this season. Whenever you're working with someone who played, who's been there, it's easier because they can relate to you. That she's been here before, she's been in our shoes before, and also for future networking. For people who want to go that route, uh, she can help us with that. So that's really helpful. In the previous like seasons um, that we have been here, like we have uh, overcome adversity, plenty of adversity. And um, with her coming in and saying that we're going to work hard but have fun, like we're excited about that because we want to work hard, we want to move forward, we want to climb the mountain, and um, we think that she's a good fit to um, help us go in that direction. It's a great honor for me, and I'm very humbled. Like I said, um, I know that there were a lot of very, very qualified ap um, applicants for this position um, and for them to see enough in me with you know my limited college coaching experience obviously that was that was a question um, but they obviously saw something in me that they felt like would um, that made me a good fit for this program and for the girls um, I like the university it's very close-knit I can tell just by the different um, different groups of people that have embraced me thus far so I, I'm very excited to be here with what they were able to do with, fo with the football team here and and getting excitement back with the athletics program it's a good time Time to be you know to be a part of this university well they understand that you've been in their shoes you know and a lot of them aspire to though to achieve those things I'm sure they didn't voice that but I'm sure there are some that want to continue their career at the professional ranks so it's different when you when you can have somebody that's walked in your shoes who's done the things that that I'm gonna ask them to do with regard to working out and and the running and the and, and being able to balance you know athletics and academics and the responsibility and the and all of those things so I, I think that they know that I understand them because I was them and so they know that I'm not going to ask them to do anything that I myself haven't done so it carries it, it, it means a lot in that they're going to trust that what I'm telling them is, is for their benefit.